Many workplaces and public spaces are already doing it, taking your temperature before allowing you in, but the process can be slow and requires close contact. CBS News Venture Soli found a LaGrange firm has developed a revolutionary touchless way to check the temperatures of dozens of people in just milliseconds. When we eventually get to the new normal, what could it look like taking in a sporting event or turning out for a festival in the age of COVID-19? Perhaps something like this. This system at an entry point scans the body temperatures of 16 people or more at the same time without ever having to stop. Look here as a box appears around their image recording their temperatures within half a degree. We wanted to solve for a problem that we saw coming down the road. A thermal camera is embedded in a unit that looks like a robotic panda. On video, green squares indicate healthy temperatures. Red squares in this demonstration indicate an elevated temperature that could require more attention. We have over 3,000 hours of R&D into this project. It's called Dothermix. Dubac Electrical in LaGrange began developing the system in January as the coronavirus threat surfaced in China. It quickly became apparent to me and our organization that this was going to be a new normal and a requirement going forward. The Centers for Disease Control says temperature recordings will play a key role in opening up workspaces and events. In barely four months, the system is up and running in 50 mostly industrial locations nationwide, about a dozen here in Chicago. 150 are currently under installation. Leading the charge was by far and away the food and beverage and pharmaceutical industry. Naturally, I wanted to give it a try, so what I do is I approach the sensor, as we've been explaining, and then when I get to about this point, there should be a green box around me with my temperature. Uh, Brian is inside the booth. Brian, what's my temperature? 97.1. It's 97.1. That's clear and healthy enough to enter the building now. The price tag is hefty, starting at $31,000. But from schools to airports, it's technology that could kind of get us back to normal. In LaGrange, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.